What's going on, people? So, got a box here. This just came in a couple hours ago, I want to say, from Adidas. So, hopefully, if all goes as according to plan or whatever, I'll be able to get this review recorded, which is happening right now. So, phase one is in progress. And then edited, and then put out there onto the internet so you can watch it all in a day, right? Is that a lot to ask? No, it's not. If you've seen how I operate in the past, you know it's very doable. But, you know, I also need to make some time for uh, wrestling it because it is Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? And it's, what, almost four? So, it should, should be a problem, right? Though I do also have one other review to shoot after this. Another shoe review. Those other Ultra Boost 21s. Not this pair. I'm wearing this pair. You know, trying to break them in a little bit. See how I really feel about them. That sort of thing. But anyways, side of the box for the people that care about the side of boxes. So this right here is going to be an Ultra Boost. Not an Ultra, yeah, it is an Ultra Boost, right? Yeah, the Winter Red. It says C Red. Either way, if you look them up online, it says Winter Ready, like WNTR dot RDY. It's some whole thing. Long story short, I'm taking a trip to Iowa soon, and Iowa's weather sucks, so I kind of got to be somewhat ready for it, at least from the ankle down. So that's where these come in. But let's see what they're all about. I saw a pair a while ago and I was like, eh, if those ever go on sale or a reason to have them like present itself, maybe. But then the reason came around that that particular pair was no more, or at least not in my size anyway. And since I didn't have a whole lot of time to deal with, I figured let me just go ahead and get what's in stock, which would be this pair. So here we go. Well, kind of reminds me of the the Vapor Max utilities I have. They're like cushiony there, but everything looks like it's fine. I don't see any real blemishes or anything. So that being that, it is now review time on this right here, ladies and gentlemen, the Adidas Winter Ready Ultra Boost in pink and black and a little bit of green. So there's that. There's a there's a mess of colors going on down there on that midsole, but we'll get on to that into we'll get on into that in a minute. First off, obviously, is going to be the bottom. So there's that for you. Now looking at that, right? It looks very much like the outsole to the what was that the neighborhood ultra boost, which was an all terrain pair. You may have seen that review. If you didn't, you're definitely not missing anything. So don't go looking it up. Just take my word for it. These look like they are going to be ready for the different terrains, which out there is mostly just going to be sleet or snow or whatever. So hopefully that holds true. But anyways, past that, it is just your standard continental rubber. It's got that stretch web outsole, learned that term yesterday, and a little green torsion system. But moving on up here to the midsole. So this, like I was saying before, it's, you know, it's a standard boost midsole, right? But there's a lot of color going on. So on the outside, you have towards the more so towards the back, you've got this thing that almost looks like a heat map in, in some kind of way, digitized. And then on the inside, you've got the same thing, just a little bit more of it. And as well as on the back. So it basically goes all around the second half of the shoe for the most part. Otherwise, it's just your standard blacked out midsole. So there's that. <clears throat> now, the upper, though, that's where things take a turn. So, these do say cold ready on the side of here, if you see that down here around where the toe box is. So maybe that's why it says sea ready on the box. Something, and maybe the set, it's just that website, you yeah, know, they're a little inconsistent. Anyway, so down here, around here, you have that going on, right? And to the touch, this is feeling like some kind of plastic overlay sort of thing. So that should be where all the water resistance and cold resistance and all that stuff comes in. So it's feeling pretty nice though. We'll see how it feels when I actually put it on though. And then just a little bit above that, you do have this upper here. I'm not quite sure what that is. It feels like a mesh, right? Something that's a little more durable than your standard prime knit, which would make sense because that is not built for the cold. So there's that. Stepping back just a little bit, Oh, I forgot to mention, there is this nice little pink strip and this white strip going around. So, you know, little flare for you. But anyways, over here on the middle area, you do have the cage. The cage has a, a matte look to it, but the texture on the actual stripes 
kind of feels a little different, right? It's, it's not rough, it's just there's a bit of friction there when you rub your fingers across it. And then the cage itself seems to be, you know, you're just your standard flat matte kind of black thing. So that's fine, nothing amazing. And behind that, you have just more of that mesh. So we're gonna skip further back along the shoe to run where the ankle is and all that stuff. On the outside, there's no labeling, but on the inside, it does say water resistant. So there's that for you, or excuse me, water repellent. I didn't really read that all the way. I just kind of assumed what it would say, and then I was wrong for it. So lesson learned, don't assume things. Moving back to the shoes though. So here you've got the standard mesh kind of thing that you had on the upper here in the front but it feels a little more durable in the back. So that's, I guess, good, but I don't know. If one of these sides is better than the other, I'm gonna say that I wish they had just done that across the whole thing, but it might affect how the shoe actually feels when you wear it. So we'll see later. But anyways, it's water repellent in the back. That's where that's going. Slightly under that, you do have these heel cups that they've had on the same styling since forever, or 2015. And that's just saying Ultra Boost down there on the side. Swinging it on to the back, you do have this here pull tab with a lime green and a little bit of silver in the middle. So there we go. For the most part, that's the upper, but not the full upper, right? Because we didn't talk about these laces. So over here, what you have is kind of a lacing system that, again, reminds me of the Vapor Max Utilities, the 2018 pair. I didn't get any of the 19s because I thought they looked stupid. But... This might be 3M, which is cool, but the thing that I'm saying is just that it has this here little pull tab thing, you know, so you pull this little button and then you can stretch them out, that whole thing, just to tighten them up. So hopefully this has some kind of easy way to tuck these laces around somewhere because otherwise you end up with a lot of slack and that's not okay, but whatever. Down below that, you do have this here same sort of pull tab on the back, just on the front, and the purpose of it is not something that I know. Like, I have no idea why that's there. I, I think it's unnecessary, but if you know, please let me know. And then if I ever do another one of these reviews, which is unlikely, honestly, I'll bring it up and I'll credit you for it. But anyway, so moving back over here, behind that, it's just your standard tongue stuff that you are familiar with on the standard old boost up until the 4.0s. Well, from the ones through the 4.0s and maybe some of the DNAs as well. So it's, it feels pretty nice though. And then moving on past that, because I believe that now is the whole upper, minus that little logo at the top. But yeah, so that is the whole upper. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to inside here. First off though, not too deep in there, talk about this sock liner, which looks like, I'm not sure what's going on in there, but it's a very different material than I'm used to seeing, but it looks like it's gonna be super insulated, you know, like it's cold ready maybe. But I'll figure that out when I actually put them on, but for now it's looking pretty good. And then down here on the inside, I'm gonna take this thing out so you can see it, which doesn't really make any sense because I always replace this footage with a picture. So there's that for you. It says cold ready on the inside, right? On it's, oh, it's just gonna be some black text on a green insole. Now we've done it, we have covered the upper, so I'll hit you with some quick thoughts. I don't have a lot, right? To be completely honest, because I haven't worn these yet. So I don't even know why I decided to hit you with some thoughts. I'll have to hold that on till later then. But it's a decent visual, I'll give it that. But give me a second, I'm gonna be back with some on-feet clips and that whole thing. You, you know how these things work. Just give me a second. Okay, so now that I've tried these on and walked around a little bit, I'm gonna give you some thoughts. So first off, with the sizing, I bought a nine and a half because that's the size that I buy in pretty much everything, and they fit like I expected them to. So whatever you normally would buy and say some Air Maxes or some Ultra Boosts, go with that size and you'll probably be fine. Now the one thing that is a little bit different here is that because this upper isn't just your standard prime knit like they generally are, it's not gonna have that same feel, right? So some people that might be a good thing because it feels a little looser, right? Some people it might be a bad thing because maybe you like that more snug fit. I don't think that going down would be a good idea if you do like that more snug fit because I think that that sizing would not work out for you. But you know, do you, do whatever. I'll just say that stick with your true to size, size on these and realize that you're going to have some kind of different feel because this is different material. So you should expect different things. Anyways, 
you do have a bit of mobility in there still because it is still kind of stretchy in the upper top where that mesh is so that's good but anyways walking around in these though it is still an ultra boost so it's still going to have some comfort in there it just feels a little bit weird because that outsole is very different than what you might generally expect right so when you're walking around on these extra thick chunky blocks on the bottom it just makes you feel a little awkward at first but i think if you put them on for a little while and you know go walk around the block or something you'll get used to it it's just that out of the box feel is like what is this but otherwise these shoes are feeling pretty good and i can't quite comment on how warm they might keep your feet because it's not like it's cold in here or whatever but if i happen to have some kind of idea about that later on and i do another review i'll throw that in there but for now I'm just going to go with the assumption, even though I'm not supposed to, that it's probably going to be fine, because why wouldn't it be? So there we go. I don't think there's too much else left to say about these, so we're just going to wrap this up. And now that I've actually worn these around a little bit, looked at them a little bit up close and stuff, I'm, I'm okay with them, right? I'm not going to say they're like run out and buy them right now kind of shoes or anything, but if you're looking for something comfortable, lightweight and can be worn in inclement weather this is worth considering now obviously i can't like really assign my name to that statement because i haven't worn these anywhere outside of this apartment yet but they have the makings of something that's going to be good later so we'll see after this whole iowa thing goes down maybe i'll do a little follow-up then depending also, one thing that somehow I completely didn't notice was that on this other pair of shoes was a second pair of laces. So that's pretty nice, I guess. Looks like they might be 3M. So, and these are actually standard lacing, laces, excuse me, but like actual lace tips and stuff. So there's that. How you take these off though, that's a, that's a question. Also, one other thing that I kind of, kind of noticed here, I was going to say assume, but I'm trying not to say that so I don't look bad. But anyways, this little thing down here, that little loop, it seems like it's handy to slide these through, so maybe that's why it's there. If anything, I mean, that's what I'm gonna use it for. On the Vapor Maxes, there's like a little latch, so that makes it really nice. But yeah, so I'm just gonna assume that maybe this is what that's for. So there you go, there you go. But yep, we're done here. So have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I gotta get on and do other stuff now. You know, I gotta keep this train moving. I think that's what people still say, right? Even though nobody's really riding trains anymore, I don't think. Whatever, that saying seems to be here to say, but I'm not. So, later people.